Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 2D. Yes, this is what I believe a ROM hack of A Link to the Past, but as Ocarina of Time. So imagine the whole 3D world of Ocarina of Time smooshed down into A Link to the Past's 2D world. The idea sounds amazing, so I am so excited to jump into this game. I've never actually played this game, even though I believe this game has been in development for quite a bit. Obviously, this is a fan-made Zelda game. Uh, I have a strong feeling the same developers behind uh, The Legend of Zelda Sacred Armor, which was uh, also known as Project Aizu. I played that about two months back, but I believe the same creators are working on this because the link to what Project Aizu was for its website redirects you to this. So this is kind of how I like figured it out. Plus a lot of you guys have been telling me to play this game. So overall, I'm just really excited to try this out and I'm ready to jump into Ocarina of Time. And I guess without further ado, let's go straight into it. So uh, we don't really have a, a character selection screen. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is still in development and it's not even close to completed. But here we are witnessing the great Deku Tree's little intro that we get at the beginning of Ocarina of Time. And oh my, it looks amazing. It actually looks a lot better than uh, A Link to the Past, at least Link per se, because you know, it's not the same pink haired sprite of Link. It's obviously customized to look more like young Link as we know in Ocarina of Time. So yeah, I'm really hyped to jump into this and see what's in store. I mean, I always imagined this, like I always imagined what happens if Ocarina of Time was kind of fit into the way Minish Cap and A Link to the Past and all of those 2D, uh, you know, handheld Zelda games looked like. And now we actually get to look at it and see how it is for once. And I'm just really excited to uh, to get into this. But okay, so here we see Ganon and the Flash. Not really much animations, but yeah, there is the great Deku Tree and he's calling Navi. I wonder if we can skip over this. We can't. It's not like I want to because, wow, the sprite work is actually really, really well done. Uh, for Navi and the Great Deku Tree, like you can really tell that that's like his nose and his mustache and yeah, just really zoomed in on his face. But I'm going to skip through the dialogue because I'm pretty sure it's verbatim of Ocarina of Times and we played Ocarina of Time quite a bit, but oh my god, this is Navi's view. It's no longer, you know, her point of view where we get to see like literally what she sees, but it's more so just a top-down perspective because this is all we're gonna get in this game but it is actually still really nice and oh my god this is Kokiri Forest in like A Link to the Past's world it's gonna be hard to take in like just because it's gonna be so familiar of course so I'm excited but all right so hello Link wake up wake up okay same old thing <laughs> Even the animations, there's some to it, obviously rarely any, but all right, now it's time to play the game. We can move and stuff, and yeah, I got a cool glowing controller, an afterglow, because uh, obviously this was played on the computer, but, um, so there is no, uh, wait, is there? That's so weird. I don't think I can walk diagonally. Uh, it's like really laggy, it seems, but whatever. Okay, let's just, let's just leave our house. And here we go, so sorry I should be right down here. Let's speak through Yahoo Link! Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I don't really care what you have to say, sorry. No offense. Um, it's just time to run and why is walking so hard? For some reason, like okay, there we go. It's it's picking up. I think Oh, you know what? I think I have to be moving a little bit to uh to continue moving. Like when I let go of the analog stick and like switch a direction, link like slows down like this. This is weird. I don't know. It's going to be hard to get used to, but I want to play as much of this as I can. So, uh, uh, it really depends on how far this game is made. I don't think the whole game of Ocarina of Time has been created already in this world, but, uh, I'm sure it's still getting updates and whatnot. So I'm going to play of it. I'm pretty much going to do a series on it. If you guys want me to for as long as it lasts pretty much but all right, let's go ahead and enter a house and just get on with this <gasps> okay sweet the chests we're gonna get a lot of rupees and okay it's only rupees right now actually I wonder if they are colored differently oh and a heart oh yeah all of the sprites everything is unique of course I don't know why I thought else but um, yeah let's go ahead and head up here and check out the lost woods oh I'm actually super excited unless it's not complete maybe these smiley faces mean Oh wow, it's not even close to completion, most likely. I have a feeling I am playing the very, very early in development uh, one. Because uh, I am sure that there are, like, more 
What am I trying to say? I, I know there's more to this game because I've seen videos on it, but I never played it myself. But maybe these weird brush thingies are supposed to represent that you can't head through here at all because it's still in, you know, development. I don't really know. Uh, overall, I just want to play of this because on the site itself, which I will link in the description, there is no download, but I found the download elsewhere and I wanted to read. Wait, okay, so read the sign. I edited the text. Okay. So, forest folk shall not leave the f woods. Oh, okay. Huh. Well, I wonder if we can get ourselves a sword at least. I'm going to try that and see how things go. I mean, I was expecting at least to take on m maybe like the youngling temples or something. Like, I expected a lot more than just Kokiri Forest to be done. But like I said, I have a feeling this is really early on in development. But... At the same time, while making this video, you guys can let me know what you think of this in general, and if you want me to continue playing it, if there is more, and if you guys do know where I can find the rest of this game, or at least a portion, uh, like a second portion, then yeah. Okay, wait, what am I trying to do? What is... What does this mean? Can I just equip it to my B button? Oh, this is really weird. How do I use my sword now? I don't think I can. I don't think it's meant to be used. It's used as a C button. Okay, that's interesting to say the least, but let's go ahead and head inside this and head back out. So I guess I just need to focus on getting rupees to um, to get a shield. Let me see if the shop is even like accessible, but first let me check out this area. Okay, there's nothing. And also the way Link enters an area, look at that. Oh, okay. It, for some reason, the first time I entered, it looked like Link glitched through the wall. Never mind. Um, can I pick up these? I guess not, but there is a rupee up there, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Luckily, uh, walking on this won't be that difficult, as you can see, because it's just literally heading straight. I remember when I first played Ocarina of Time, I don't know why, I just had a really hard time holding the N64 controller, but walking on narrow pathways in 3D was really weird for me. Plus, like I said, the N64 controller, I think it was just really badly made for kids. Or anyone with just small hands. I mean, now I can hold it fine, but I had issues at first. I wonder if this little thing is hidden. Oh wait, let's now be- Oh look, I can look at first person and Mega Man. What? And I can jump? <laughs> this is so weird. So it has a little 2D section going on. All right, um, so I just hit this and I'm back. Okay. So we're, welcome, can I get the Deku Shield? I can't buy it because I don't have enough rupees. All right, I guess our goal here is to get enough rupees. Maybe if I do, this will go away and then I can continue on, but I highly doubt it. I don't think there's really much done with this game. House of Twins. Okay. Can I enter it? Oh, okay, it's facing the other way. And uh, no one's in this house, so let's go ahead and leave. But I do love how all the music has been changed to fit uh, A Link to the Past uh, style of music, you know, the old styled music. And oh, okay, so I can perform this little glitch where I'm gonna keep heading up here and picking up a rupee. Also, maybe I could do this. One, two, three, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. Can I interact with her? Maybe she's the sign? Stuffing stones in the pond, if you boldly go the direction you want to jump, you will leap. Wait, what? If I... How do I do that? He's Link doesn't jump. Can I actually jump? Because if so, maybe that's how I get the rupees I need. Or get like the, the five rupees that appear when jumping on these giant lily pad things. I don't know, overall, uh, at least for Kukiri Forest, this is really well done. Like, I feel like I am in Kukiri Forest in, you know, the 2D version of Ocarina of Time. Like, the, it's really well mapped out, to say the least. But, um, am I even getting money from this? I wonder. Maybe I'm not. No, I am. Okay. So, yeah, just two more times, and then I'll have enough rupees. But I have a feeling, guys, that, you know, this is going to be a rather short video, and... Yeah, it sucks because there's so many cool ideas out there and like I want to play a lot of these fan hacks uh, Especially, you know, while waiting for Breath of the Wild because I've played everything there is So why not jump into something new and I actually do enjoy a lot of the fan creations I mean so far my favorite has to be 
uh, The Legend of Zelda. I actually didn't even have that title. Just Project Third Quest, which I've done two videos on, and I, I've, I've already seen their next patch, but it's not downloadable yet, which should be the Ice Valley or something. I'm definitely going to play that when I get the chance, but I guess if you guys have any recommendations for other hacks, let me know, and if you guys know how I can get more of this hack to play, I will definitely do so. But let me go ahead and buy the shield quickly, and then, um... I guess let's try to make our way to the Deku Tree. What is happening? For some reason, I can't turn anymore. I don't know if this is something wrong with my controller or what, but it's like glitching. Now it's just not working. Uh, walk! Please! Oh! Oh! No, it's... Well, it's most likely still blocked anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can't really walk this direction anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe one day. Okay, there we go. No, it won't let me throw, so it's whatever. And equipping it, I have no idea how I'm supposed to equip it. Equip it. How do I actually see it? Oh, there we go. Okay, well. There we go, I equipped it, and I equipped it. <gasps> oh, sweet. Okay, so now. It went away! Oh, I can continue on! Sweet! Okay, so I, I, I guess there is more to this game. Good thing I didn't give up, but. As long as I can continue moving the direction I need to move, what is wrong with my controller? Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Let me try to move very gently and see if it continues to move. Uh, I think it's just busted, if anything. Like, uh, yeah, I just do not want to work for some reason. But all the other ones do. There we go. Okay, we have made it. Great Deku Tree, I'm back. <gasps> oh, Navi, blah, 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 I'm opening my mouth right now. Okay, sweet. All right, guys, it is time to enter inside the great Deku Tree. I guess we should check it out. I'm excited. Oh, God. I wonder if it's complete. It most likely is. And there we go. Okay, so it looked like I was moving for a second. Um, and we got ourselves a stick, which we can use. I don't know how it's going to be helpful, but wow, this is really weird. Kind of wish I can move around with my D-pad because this is getting really hard to uh, control. Um, I don't know why, but it is. Okay, there we go. See, sometimes it's just responsive, sometimes it isn't. But now it is responsive. Uh, so, yeah, I don't really get these controls. But we shall make a way around and head up this. Okay. Oh, man. Wait, okay, now I need to figure out how I'm supposed to jump. This is where it comes in handy, right? Or do I not jump here? Uh, what? I have no idea. This this looks really confusing already. Like, I understand that this is all in 2D, but now this is kind of scaring me. Also, I'm still having this issue with moving. But, um, oh, okay, look, there's a giant chest. I have no idea if we're going to scale this like we normally did in the Great Deku Tree. If so then that would be interesting. But how am I supposed to get around and head up here? This should be maybe the area where I get my slingshot down here. It just, uh, this is really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix this, or not. Why does it randomly work for me and then sometimes it doesn't? There we go. Okay, I figured out how to do that. Now, shield. Oh, you face him. <laughs> Come here. Ah, oh, forgive me, master. Oh, nice. All right. And now let's hit this. What did that actually do? Um, can I walk up this? I can't walk up this at all. Mm, maybe I just walk back and then go back in and hopefully I didn't screw things up. Ah, I don't... What is this room? This is really confusing. I Like, I don't know what's 3D and what isn't. Like, is this walkable? Is any of this walkable? No, none of it is. And I don't really have an item for this area. I have a stick. Can I equip it? Oh, I can. Eh. <laughs> you could just, like, poke things with it. This is hilarious. Okay, whatever. Let's just go ahead and leave. And, uh, hopefully this stick is all I need to, uh, to do what I need to do. So... I doubt it. Actually, you know what? I have a feeling maybe I could just climb up this without worrying of getting hit. No, the, the game, I don't think the game wants me to. Or I can only climb this one. Uh-oh. Oh, I avoided you. <laughs> Get wrecked. I did it, guys. I did it. All right, jump. Down. Oh, okay, we're fine. 
Oh, this is so insane how accurate this all is. I mean, I don't like how the music is different though, but I mean, that's a really dumb complaint. Um, so I jump on this. Wait, jump on this. Can I make it? Oh, you can! This is so, this is verbatim Ocarina of Time, but in 2D, like, I mean, that's the name of it. This is awesome. How do I make my way back down, though? Can I? Jump, Link! Uh-oh. It might be a glitch, maybe, that you can't jump back down. Or something. Or maybe I have to kill this guy. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 buddy. Chill out. I'm going to die from you. Then I need, I, I what is it that I'm supposed to do here? I'm dead, which is actually a good thing. Kill me. No way, I have infinite lives. Well, now I'm glitched on the wall. Uh-oh. Can I at least save? Maybe it will, like, get me out of here. Uh. Okay, let me turn out. Nope. If I hit back, maybe if it start any button, nothing. No, none of this works. All right, guys. Well... I, I don't know why the game is extremely laggy. It might, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure because it's still in development. But I thought I'd show this off. And if you guys want me to continue it, I guess I will. Uh, I just need to somehow figure out how to get out of here. And, um, yeah, then we'll be good. But I do like the way this looks so far. I'm more excited to see Hyrule. And uh, just how the bosses even come out and everything. And I would have loved to show it off now. But I'm having a lot of trouble, uh really getting out of here and i believe i have to restart again because i don't know if you can actually save so yeah let me know what you guys think of this and maybe it wasn't smart for me to jump into this blind but i thought it'd be fun just to experience it uh plus i never really get to record zelda games blind because i usually have already played them so it is nice to play something new and record it so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like if you want me to play more or if you want me to play other suggested uh, fan-made games let me know in the comments below anyways i've been zelda master and i'll see you all in the next one bye